Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm here in the new Adventure Building and I've been in the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo's teen program for seven years and through that time I've been able to learn a lot about different animals and their conservation and today I'm here to show you some tips and tricks you can do to help animals out in your own backyard. Everyone wants a good looking lawn for the summer but it's important to look for alternatives to pesticides like hand pulling weeds and using less toxic pesticides. Hand pulling weeds is a lot better for the environment because you're able to take out just those weeds in your garden instead of eliminating other flowers for pollinators. When picking new plants for your garden at home, look for plants that attract pollinators and other native species. For example, in Colorado, milkweed is very popular. It's important to attract pollinators to your garden at home because they help pollinate other plants in your garden and around the area and help maintain a healthy ecosystem. So playing in the sprinklers during the day is fun for kids of all ages. If you're trying to water your lawn or your plants, it's important to do that after dusk to prevent evaporation and give you more bang for your buck. Another way to conserve water in your own backyard is to check for leaky hoses and leaky sprinkler systems, and this will help preserve water in your backyard. Animals like bears and raccoons are attracted to the smell of food and trash cans overnight. So one easy thing we can do to eliminate animals getting into our trash can is to bring in our trash at night or to get bear-proof trash cans. Another way to help keep wildlife wild is by bringing in hummingbird and other bird feeders in at night, just like the ones you might have in your own backyard. Another way to help protect smaller native wildlife like birds and lizards is by keeping your cats indoors. If your cats like to be outside, you can consider building them a cat patio or a catio. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have been able to learn some conservation practices that you all can use in your own backyard.